Welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to cook a part of the deer that a lot of guys just feed to dogs or throw away. We're talking shanks. Y'all stay tuned. enough meat on these things uh, but the dogs really loved them you know we dog hunted up in north florida a lot it's so thick there it's really about the only way to successfully hunt deer um, in the pine woods of north florida um, so we're going to take these shanks and make something delicious with them by braising right in the dutch oven so before we start to do anything with these guys, we're going to take a sharp knife. We have our uh, nine inch bubble blade here. This is available on our Amazon store. It's a great, great all around fillet knife. I'm going to cut through that uh, tough membrane on the outside in several places. Uh, I'm not going to worry about taking it off. It's going to, all that collagen is going to cook out of it. But if you just score it, you know, all the way around there through that membrane, that'll help, uh, you know, the heat get down in there a little better. And uh, you season and get down in there a little better. Don't have to be fancy. I just cut it every so far. And that'll help the uh, meat come off the bone later, too. So we just kind of score it everywhere we can. Back side, front side. This one was pretty flat. It's from Alabama. All right. We got her scored up pretty good. You could even run... A score to the long direction also. Do this with your hunting knife. Alright, now we'll get ready to season. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to drizzle olive oil all over them. You know, these are pretty lean. Um, and yours may even be even leaner. And this was a corn-fed, feeder-fed, food plot-fed deer here. So he's pretty fatter than most. Well, most around here anyway and here we just got a combination of salt salt uh, coarse sea salt and coarse black pepper give them a good coat of that on both sides and the oil will help it stick okay and then right here we have uh, some some ground rosemary I just took a uh, regular dry rosemary and uh, put it in a spice grinder for a second and broke it up. You could do this exact same dish with lamb shanks. Okay, actually, this is my lamb shank recipe that we're doing on the dinner on the venison. So, all right, here we go. Those are ready to go in the Dutch oven. So, you know, our Dutch oven over here is 12 inches, and these things were, you know. Here's a long-legged animal. So what we did was we cut them short down here just below where all the last part of the meat comes together. After that, it's pretty much just, you know, tendons and whatever. So we just cut right below where that, that chunk of meat is at the end and took off like that extra, you know, four or five inches of bone where there's nothing. So we just took the meat saw and chopped those off. And uh, so they'll fit into the 12-inch. Hey, y'all make sure to stay tuned in this video because today we're going to announce the winners of the cast iron giveaway. So, that'll be closer to the end. And uh, just like to thank everybody who entered, uh, entered on that contest. So today's cook, we're going to be using the Kingsford 100% Natural Lump Briquettes. Um, I used these yesterday uh, for some chicken wings smoked and they they did pretty well. We're going to see how long they work with the Dutch oven though. Good pile on the bottom to get started. We want to sear these, so it's gonna need that searing heat. Just trying to wiggle my feet down to where the feet are actually on the table, not on the charcoals. There we 
we go. Give that a minute to get hot. Get going in with a couple tablespoons of our friend bacon grease. I just let that melt in the bottom of the pan. So the one thing that I can give you the best advice on for cooking venison. These shanks were aged in the refrigerator for two weeks, okay? Two weeks in the refrigerator, Ziploc bag, uh, 38 to 40 degrees. But without an aging process, it's always going to be game. So two weeks, refrigerator, Ziploc bag, 38 to 40 degrees perfect every time and I guarantee your family will love it. Okay, we're starting to see a little bit of smoke coming out of the pan. So let's go ahead and lay our shanks in there. Man, that smells yummy already. Those onions are starting to starting to caramelize, and that's what we're looking for. So as soon as they get start to caramelize like that, you'll smell them. Believe me, when they're ready, starting to turn to pork. Gonna get our deglaze here, and it's gonna be some red wine. So we're gonna pour just about a quarter cup in there to begin with, so it'll boil real quickly and deglaze the bottom of your Dutch oven to get any of those little bits off the bottom. All right, it feels nice and deglazed now. Go ahead and add about another three quarters of a cup. And a cup of good beef broth. I made this from Better Than Bouillon, um, which is concentrated from the bone. Of beef. All right. Now, don't tell Miss Backwoods I put those two peppers in there, but if, put peppers in yours, okay? But you slice them up. I left these holes so I can take them back out. 
uh, easily, but they're going to leave some of their flavor behind. So all we need to do now is get the lid on. Coming up to a simmer. We got one sprig of of uh, rosemary and one sprig of dill. Just going to drop those in. The lid back on. We can pretty much walk away from this. These coals will burn down way before that ever uh, overcooks. So guys, you could use this with uh, any kind of animal you get. Um, domestic or wild you know domestic or wild uh, this would be great with uh, uh, sure with antelope I've never got to try that elk uh, I'm sure it's, you know or moose is gonna have a pretty big shank on them but hey you know if you chop that thing up get it where you get it in a Dutch oven great great use for a very underutilized part of uh, most wild animals and you know cuz it's all bone but there's a lot a lot of flavor in that bone and that's what we're going for right here all right, so we got out the 10 inch. We're going mostly bottom heat on this guy too. These little bits that fall out from underneath here. Let's go ahead and slide them up underneath our uh, venison shanks over there and kind of keep them warm. We just need bottom heat here. No, uh, no lid heat. And like I said, the leftovers we'll just kind of Shove them over there, around the around the big Dutch oven. Keep our shanks warm. We'll let it, go ahead and let that preheat for a minute. It's just starting to warm up. Uh, butter and bacon grease. Yummy stuff. Right into that. It's our veg. Onions, carrots, celery. Uh, and potatoes. This time we're going to go uh, Everglades seasoning, one third less salt. Alright. Um, we're kind of digging this lately since it's available on our Amazon store. Um, and we don't have to go directly to Seminole Swamp to buy theirs anymore. Got a little color. Go ahead and put in about a half a cup of chicken stock. That's homemade, by the way. Made that yesterday. From all our wing tips and bags and things like that left over. Lid back on. Ready soon. So Thanksgiving just passed. So I want to tell you a few of the things that I'm thankful for. First of all, is all of you right there at home that have been watching my videos over the over the years. Uh, you know, this channel is finally starting to grow a little bit, and uh, we're getting out there to, to more people. Um, it's helped us, uh, you know, expand what we're doing. And I appreciate every single one of you guys, and uh, all the my regulars that, that comment on every single video. Appreciate all you guys. 
and uh, you know, I just wanted to mention again the Amazon store. That's uh, its first month now. Made a little bit of money. Made a little bit of money, you know, uh, to for us to help, you know, keep doing this. I just got back from the grocery store today, just buying the ingredients for this dish. We're like sixty-five dollars almost just for the the, 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 the you know, charcoal and and uh, all the fixings to go with it. Even though I already had the shanks, so. Um, I appreciate everybody that would, you know, go on our Amazon store, check that out, save that link to your favorite. So every, every time you go on Amazon, you just, if you go through that link and, uh, whatever you want to buy, if you're buying, I, I just bought a drive shaft for my truck. Okay. About to fall out. Got to go change that after I get done making this video. So we're out here working, uh, trying to make great content for you and trying to keep up with everything we got to do here at the house. So we appreciate everybody. If you just save that link to your favorites. And each time you go to Amazon, you can buy anything on Amazon through that link. And uh, we'll get a little commission on it, which will help the content here on the Backwoods Gourmet channel. All right, folks. Time for the plate. Backwoods Gourmet style. It's got our, uh, our sautéed Dutch oven veg right here. I'm going to come over here. It's nice and juicy. It's got that chicken broth in the end, on the inside. And we get a nice... nice uh, healthy portion of that come right over here I'm going to get one of our venison shakes and we're going to serve this up like caveman style with the bone right in there okay then we're going to come in get some of our our broth okay I'll just drizzle that right over the top Make sure we got a nice pool in the plate for the for the veggies. All right, so we'll just clean that up real quick. Clean the plate. We dripped it on there. Okay. All right. For a final little uh, seasoning, we're just going to put a little little salt, cracked black pepper, right over the top there. For garnish, just a little sprig of fresh rosemary. So there you go. Uh, Venice and shanks with uh, with vegetables, cook with rosemary and wine. Uh, very under underutilized portion of the deer, and going to be delicious. <laughs>
This is a generic three notch lodge antique one. Um, number six, beautiful pan. That's going to Sam Littlefield and his family in Philomath, Oregon. All right, you'll be getting this nice, beautiful pan very, very soon via uh, USPS. Okay. <clears throat> We took care of that one, and I know a lot of you other guys on YouTube signed up for the muffin pan. The muffin pan, the muffin pan. Okay? So, we did our little uh, pick on the comments, and there were a lot of people left comment on that. And so, after all said and done, the winner of the muffin pan. It's going to be Jared Campbell, and from what I can tell from his uh, channel, because I haven't notified him yet, uh, except for right now, uh, I think he's in Roanoke, Virginia, so uh, we'll get a hold of Jared and get an address, and we'll get this sent out uh, as soon as possible out to Jared Campbell. Uh, been a long time sub, so I'm glad he won. All right, buddy? So, hope you guys enjoy. Uh the new caster. Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. As always, if you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button right over there. To see our last video, check it out right up there. And for a whole playlist of cast iron Dutch oven cooking, check it out right up here. We'll see you next time.